my students. Today we are going to learn about chemistry form 1 and the topic for today is simple classification of substances and the subtopic for today is effects of heat on substances. Therefore, by the end of this lesson, you are supposed to know how to state the kinetic theory of matter. You are supposed also to know how to use a graph to illustrate the changes of states of matter. And number three, you are supposed to know how to explain the melting and boiling points in terms of kinetic theory of matter. How do we state the kinetic theory of matter? That's the question. Kinetic theory of matter states that matter is made up of particles which are in a continuous random motion. I mean, when you have particles in a matter, they move in a random motion. They move, move uh, from one side to the other without any fixed direction. Therefore, our kinetic theory of matter forms the basis of the model which we have there on your screen. As you can see on your screen, we have the solid, the first one, then we have the liquid and the gas. If you remember what you are taught in Form 1, first topic, uh, the solid particles are closely packed together. They do not move from each other. Their forces of attraction is so high that the particles are very close to each other. In the second one, the liquid, the particles are far a bit from each other. And therefore it means they can be able to move from one point to the other. But their movement is not comparable now to gases. The gases are far away from each other, meaning they can be able to move in a continuous random motion. If we move on now to the next area, we have the changes of state of matter. The changes of state of matter. And when you heat a solid or you cool a solid, we have some changes that occurs. Number one, we have melting. We want to define what is melting. Melting is a process through which a solid substances changes to liquid upon heating. Number two is our boiling. How do we define boiling? Boiling is the process through which substances changes from liquid to gases upon heating. Therefore, among those two processes, melting changes from solid to liquid. Then boiling changes from liquid to a gas. Then we have another uh, term that we are going to, to use as we continue our learning. That is condensation. What is condensation? Condensation is a process through which substances which are in gas are converted to liquid when they are cooled. Meaning any gas, any gas which is cooled from a certain temperature to a lower one, it is converted to a liquid substance. Then the next point or the next term that you're going to learn is the freezing point. Freezing, what do we understand by freezing? Freezing is just changing from uh, liquid to solid. E.g. if you take ice, ice is in solid form. Liquid water is in liquid form. Therefore, if you convert liquid water to solid ice, we are saying the solid, the liquid ice, the liquid water solid has been freezed. It has been converted from liquid to solid state. Then on our next term is the sublimation. You realize in some uh, compounds or some solids, they change direct from solid to liquid and also to gas. But there are some other solids which cannot do that. What do they do? They change from solid direct to the gas without passing through 
without passing through liquid states. Therefore, that process is what you are calling sublimation. Therefore, sublimation is the process through which a solid substance changes to gas upon heating.